most evident in the case of alcohol. I referred earlier to Spain not actually having a drinking age, and all indications are that Spain has lower problem in alcoholism drinking rates than the United States. There's a real clear gradient in Europe. Uh, Northern European countries have the highest alcoholism rates, Southern have the lowest. Ironically, Northern European countries drink the least. Uh, I, one of my bet noirs is a man named Robin Room. He, he, he favors an approach to alcoholism which says reducing the amount of alcohol consumed in a society makes for less problems. In fact, when they systematically did cross European studies, they found an inverse relationship between alcohol problems and the amount of alcohol consumed, and even an inverse relationship between the amount of alcohol consumed and cirrhosis, which they always said, well, maybe the Southern Europeans drink more and manage it better, but of course you're going to have more cirrhosis. They don't. There's a straight gradient because Northern European drinking, which is binge drinking, uh, Ireland has the lowest rate of daily drinking in Europe and the highest rate of binge drinking among men. <clears throat> Women are less likely to drink in Ireland. That's a style of drinking. It's seeing alcohol as an exceptional experience. Here's another study. They compared Italian use and Finnish use and they asked them, when did you first drink? And Italian kids, of course, couldn't answer that question. Because if you're given alcohol mixed with water when you're three, you have no answer to that question. In Finland, the answer was at 15, I went out with my friends and I got really, really drunk. Does anybody think that of those two approaches, the Finnish approach is better? Because if they do, I've got something to tell them. Finnish ha Finns have the worst problem, alcoholism drinking problem in all of Europe. But here's the greatest thing in a crazy sense. Room and his colleagues have managed to appropriate the World Health Organization in Europe and to impose northern drinking customs in southern Europe. So a famous man, uh, their leading researcher, goes to Italy and tells them they must raise their drinking age because it does so much good in Sweden in preventing traffic accidents, even though in northern Europe the drinking age is still only 18. And he's imposing unhealthy attitudes from Northern Europe on Southern European countries. It's, it's regard damn ridiculous. There is one glimmer of hope, however. Opposing crazy alcohol epidemiologists is natural evolution of societies. And people have started to notice that Sweden, Southern Sweden, including Stockholm, has started to drink like regular Europeans. Sweet, because of the EU, they were forced to lower tariff rates and people were allowed to bring in beer and wine. There used to be tremendous tax on beer and wine. And when you go to Stockholm now, they have actual pubs and you see kids drinking beer more or less normally. Whereas typically, 20 years ago, you would go to a park in Sweden and you still do in Norway and you see a perfectly well-dressed person laying on the ground passed out from Saturday night on a Sunday morning because that was a standard style of drinking. And just through normal intercourse in Europe among Europeans, uh, the internet, media, a swath of southern Sweden and Scandinavia has been incorporated into continental drinking habits, contrary to the best efforts of the leading epidemiologists, many of whom are Sweden, telling Southern Europeans you've got to become binge drunkards like all us healthy Northern Europeans are.